Call me a liar. Call me what you will. I said great ice hockey. Well, turns out the Master System great sports games use the sports pad, and I cannot for the life of me find out how to emulate the sports pad. Uh, so maybe I'll come back to those one day when I've figured out how to emulate that. But for now, we're just going to play the Ninja instead, which is the other game. Uh, I know, I'm missing all of this exposition here. Uh, you can read that at your leisure. I'll I'll let it... Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll let it scroll through. You can, you know, back up and read all that if you want. I just felt like I owed an explanation as to why I'm not playing great ice hockey. Anyway, this is the Ninja. Don't have to tell you, developed and published by Sega. We all knew it. This, presumably uses a normal, uh, hold on, I forgot, I have to switch it back one second here, okay, we should be good now, okay, there we go, yeah, I, uh, I still had the attempted sports pad emulation selected, but, you know, that, it, it didn't work in the first place, so, here we go, it's the ninja. Looks like it's basically a uh, commando ripoff, right? Ooh, but you can throw either directly in front of you or to either side, which is actually great. It means that you can strafe if you have to. Ouch. Okay, well, we're all dead. It means that, yeah, you can strafe and shoot forward if you have to, or you can, you know, move and fire into a different direction. I think that's a good solution. It's a good, you know kind of compromise with the controls. We're gonna suck it up for a little bit here. As is uh, expected. It's gonna be real hard to uh, dodge that many incoming throwing stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game over within two minutes. Don't, don't even start with me. <laughs> We're gonna make it. We're not gonna make it immediately. That's for sure, though. So yes, like I said, immediately feels a lot like a Commando. Uh, I, I hope it feels more like Commando and uh, less like Akari Warriors. The music is <laughs> cheerier. And yet, we continue to find ourselves dying. I gotta start, you know, not just going left and right. You gotta use all the parts of the buffalo when you're gonna dodge. Yeah, here we go. Better yet, just approach it from a different angle. I like the little uh, power-up music. I don't know if it's a power-up or what. I don't feel powered up. Ooh, looks like I can intercept their shurikens. I'm expecting ninjas to just, like, pop out of trees at this point now. Got him. Got the straw hat. Ooh, it even criticizes your hit percentage. How nice. So it can tell you, wow, you, you weren't accurate at all. And you can tell that. You think I was here to be accurate? I'm just here to survive, man. I'm the ninja. Or are the things we're fighting the ninja and we are just uh, some dude? I don't know, but we're going to have to perform better than that. You know how I feel about killing an enemy and seeing that uh, I'm the one who ends up dead. <laughs> the Okami Castle and its surroundings. Uh, again, I'd just like to point out this is yet another Master System game with no actual uh, in-game HUD, really. Just, just one of those quirky things the Master System does, you know? At least now I know when I buy a Master System, if I want to play any of the great sports titles, I'm going to need to get that sports pad. Because, boy, I was very confused trying to do anything with the regular controls. It just didn't really work at all. He's easy. He's incredibly easy, man. About approximately the same, 48%, you know. 
Ah, it's pretty much identical to my average pass completion percentage and uh, uh, pff, wrong button in a game of Madden. My current Madden 2008 franchise is hilarious. Uh, playing as the Cleveland Browns, drafted Michael Vick. Oh, come on. Clearly it doesn't, you know, acknowledge the 3D space that these boulders live in. But oh, yeah. Cleveland Browns drafted Michael Vick. He is currently um, the second highest passer rating, right behind Peyton Manning, with uh, the most yards thrown. Actually, I don't know if he's thrown for the most yards, but he has for sure thrown the most touchdowns, like, by a wide margin. And yet he has the lowest uh, pass completion percentage in the entire league. <laughs> it's because, you know, all he does is, you know, he goes for those big bombs and stuff like that. He's not one of those, oh, I'll throw a screen pass. Screen pass? What is that going to get me? Come on now. Don't make me laugh. I should be dead, I feel. But I'm not, so... Wow, okay, he killed me that time. The straw hat got me. It's my own fault. You know, like like all retro games, you just gotta figure out the quirks, figure out wh where exactly it wants you to approach certain angles from. Eventually, you'll you'll get there. Don't expect to be an expert before the 10 minute mark. Don't expect to be an expert before the uh, uh, 40 hour mark. If it takes you 40 hours to beat the ninja, well then you might have a bigger problem. Boy, he was, he was really going for it. <laughs> he didn't want me to get away, that's for sure. Excuse you. I feel like the entire existence of a, like, a kind of accuracy counter exists to try to coax you to not spam, and then when you don't spam, you die. And it's like, you can't fool me. Look at that, 67% this time, though. The greatest, the greatest hit ratio you've ever seen. The worst dodge ratio you've ever seen, however. Okay, we're back to our knives. Our shurikens are gone. Presumably because of the deaths. We'll probably have to find another green scroll or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what this game is all about. Not yet, I don't. No, oh, get the scroll. Yay, there we go. Now we got the shurikens. It looks like the shurikens uh, pierce through enemies, which is their, their big deal. Oh, look, another one. And he got me. <laughs> you know, hard to do when the screen's constantly scrolling diagonally and you're trying to dodge a bunch of rocks. It's hard? Whoa, almost like that's the point. <sighs> However, it was very easy that time. 20% hit ratio, don't mean to brag, but uh, if this were golf, that would be better than before. Look at these massive projectiles. Oh, great, they've sent out the rats. That sounded like an extra life to me. Better have been. I've been putting in work here. By putting in work, I mean... Barely surviving by the skin of my teeth. Thanks for the uh, shuriken upgrade. I'll do my best to not uh, completely squander it. I think these are supposed to be dogs, but they really kind of look like rats from head on. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> the power of a single shuriken. That's historically accurate right there, by the way. Oh, we have to actually get cute with this guy. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The straw hats, they're no problem. As long as you can, you know, <laughs> do it right. Doing it right's the hard part, though, so I guess they're not easy. I really do be at that point. I'm I'm so thrown off from starting great ice hockey and then being greatly confused. You know, it's just it threw off my entire game. I wasn't planning on playing the ninja here, but here I am. It's not a bad game so far. It's just a little rough around the edges. Ooh, what do we got in here? Nothing. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, they think they're so clever. They're like He's never going to see me coming. It's not a problem. 88%! Are you kidding me? Oh, no. It's Frogger! <laughs> Why is it Frogger? No! I am so certain that you won't be able to go into the river either. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's just, it's a straight up doesn't let you even try, so at least you can't insta die. That seems like the worst level that has ever been created in mankind's entire history. I'm I'm up so I'm straight up offended that that exists. That's disgusting. It's okay. Scrolls. They're all the rage. I don't know what the additional scrolls do. Like, clearly, getting the red one gives you the shurikens, but, I, like... Oh, I think blue makes you faster. I feel faster. And then green. Verdict's out on green. Maybe a damage upgrade? I don't know. 81% again? Absolutely, it's 81%. Now this level, which I, I don't have a lot of confidence in. Forget the hit ratio. I just want to stay alive for as long as is possible. I got a little worried that he was going to get closer to me. 45%, you know, that's better than the, what, 20% we had last time? Yeah, 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 this is what you do. You just get them all in one fell swoop. I'm glad they don't respawn, you know, you can track back like that and not regret everything. Nice. They unleashed the hounds, and the hounds were remarkably ineffective. Never was a dog person. I know, some people, they hear that and they get, like, personally offended. They're just like, what? But dogs are perfect. I'm like, I don't know, man. I just, it's, it's just, they're, they're not for me. They're like, oh, but they'll, they'll always be there for you. It's like, them to be around. I just, I, I don't vibe with dogs, you know? <laughs> like, telling me that the dog will always be there. Oh, I don't know. That's, that's, that's not a selling point. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I like the fact that cats just kind of leave you alone sometimes. I say that, but my youngest cat uh, loves to annoy me. It's usually at right around uh, the three o'clock mark. He comes down and starts jumping on my desk and calling people on Skype and stuff like that. Coolio. Still upset that I died once, but... You know, we got 69,000 points, so that's all that matters. Real mature, laughing at the... laughing at the number. I never made any claims to be particularly grown up. I pay my bills. I'm grown up enough.
Excuse me? <laughs> she kept throwing her projectiles into mine? You really want to go there? Apparently she did, otherwise she wouldn't have done it, you know? Oh, no! That's right. That's right. Now... ...comes the world of pain. Why? Okay, so far so good. I feel a little bit better now knowing that I can't insta-die by ah, walking into the water. But I only feel a little bit better. Not, not considerably better. It's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a safety net knowing that I can just kind of panic off however much I want. Oh, wait. Is this already a boss? Yeah, there he is. He's up there. Get out of here. The level was no big deal. Turns out it's the easiest shit ever. <laughs> you just have to not let it uh, get in your head. Which is the case with most video games, you know? Just don't respect them. Well, you gotta respect them, but don't don't fear them and you'll be fine. See, I, I knew she was coming. I couldn't see her, but I had a feeling. And I was hooked on that feeling. Okay, I can't cross that bridge, so that's that's great. I mean, unless I can and I'm just botching it. Can you cross the bridge? Okay, you can. You just gotta get on there just right. Crossing it was useless. <laughs> Crossed it only to have to cross back. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Don't throw forward when you're trying to throw at an angle. Same with there. Don't... Sh <laughs> I get so comfortable just throwing forward, you know? Gotta get out of that comfort zone a little bit. Don't hear this song very often. We're always all shurikened up. Oh no! That should be the end, right? No, we still have another life to go. Alright. Well, I don't see much changing. That was lame. He popped out right in front of me. Either way, progress. You know, furthest we've gotten. I figured out, you know, the general, the general flow of the game. Now I just need to execute. Easier said than done, admittedly. Ah, come on. I froze up. I panicked. Dying in level one. Terrible. Hand over your passport. You're barred from visiting any country ever because of that blunder. Hey, come on. <laughs> Through too early, retreated, didn't counterattack. This is the point where, you know, okay, watch this. We need our lives. So we just, yeah. We just sacrifice it. We say, that one's... That one's done for. That one was dead in the water. It happens. It's a functional enough game, though. Which, as I've said before, I think is a symptom more of uh, Sega handling the majority of the Master System's life in-house. They're like... It's not going to be a master system if we let just any schmuck release their games for it. And then it would just be the, the okay system. I'm sure that's exactly how the discussion went down at Sega headquarters.
96%. I only missed one shot that entire time. That's beautiful. Now, of course, you know, don't sacrifice your well-being for hit ratio, you know. You, you want to survive more than anything. But if you can get a good hit ratio, it gets you some pretty juicy bonus points. Instead, for things like this, I'd rather just kind of mash it and make sure that I uh, delete all of my opponents. Perfect. Extra life, 62%. I'll take it. Now, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, this is the dog level now. If you hate movies where they where they uh, kill the dog, don't play the ninja. You know, the all these sweet doggies. That look more like rats. Maybe they're capybaras, you know? We'll meet in the middle. They're kind of a dog-sized rodent. Capybaras are cool, though. Yeah, see, there we go. They look a little more dog-like from the side. should have, um, I know exactly what I should have done. And I'm gonna do it this attempt here. Well, provided I can make it there. I would have my shuriken, you know? I'm gonna get, uh, bodied by dogs. I'll be fine. I'll make it there. You gotta bait him into throwing at a slight end. <sighs> Come on. Wrong buttons again. Quit throwing directly forward, man. You gotta bait him into, uh, throwing at a slight angle and then going in so that his shuriken doesn't block your shots. That's what you really gotta do. Check it out. I got the moves. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. That's how you do it. Unfortunately, I've uh, taken some L's along the way. It's going to put me in a worse position. Predictably. I see you up there. You cannot defeat them before they jump. I don't even know if you can get them when they're midair. Ah, oh, she got me. I believe it's a she, you know. That's why they put the little red bow in the hair. There's only so much you can do with graphics of this caliber. You gotta, you gotta try to figure it out sometimes, fill in the blanks. Wrong direction again. Can I get my shuriken, please? You know? I died to a melee enemy. You know? I'm not- I'm not proud. I'm a little loud, but I'm not proud. That was not the promised attempt. Not the promised run. thing you've ever witnessed in your life. <coughs> until, you know, until this level comes around. This level used to have our number, but now... <coughs> again, it's like I say, you just gotta figure out where you have to be and when you have to be there. It's a game of memorization. 
Maybe if you have the reflexes of a god, you can get it pretty good on your first try, but... <clears throat> I think typically, you know, memorizing it is going to be the way to go if you want to see success. Got him. 43%, it's not high, I don't care. I didn't come here to impress anybody. <laughs> I just came here to destroy five dogs at the same time. Shit post spot 5000 would be proud. Yeah, I didn't quite know what to expect with a game just titled The Ninja. I guess I was expecting almost something more similar to Shinobi. But, you know, a Commander clone works as well. Commander? Commando clone works as well. At the end of the day, you know, your game can function however you want. The setting is merely window dressing. 100%! Total shots, 46. Total hits, 47. What?! <laughs> <laughs> Exceptional. Right, probably because I got, you know, so many uh, multi-kills there with the dogs. So it brought me into that wonderful land. Got her. Alright, we know one's gonna come out there. Yep. You can get the midair. I just missed the one time I tried. Which isn't necessarily the most astonishing thing that's ever happened to me. Perfect. 95%, not bad, considering how much I was kind of spamming in the beginning. Now, this. We've learned that this is not as scary as it seems. Or is it? Just get on your fast log and you're good. To go. I should have thrown. I should have thrown. I was too busy not throwing. A bad move, to say the least. It's okay, we have the shuriken back. There we go, very good. And then, yeah, and then your boss appears. What? <laughs> Wasn't expecting it. I said it's not as bad of a level as it appears, but that doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's all gravy. He's still got, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, it's still got ways to stop us, but we we survived. We should show me how many lives I have, but I, um, as, yeah, pausing doesn't bring it up either. To say, as the master system is prone to, you just gotta kind of run blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, jumping out of corners to hide me you're so very s to hide me to scare me you were hiding and then you jumped out and that made me scream like a big baby because it was horrifying perfectly executed right there does uh deflecting their projectiles count as a hit did i'm i'm making it surviving <laughs> I didn't make it past that point before, I don't think. Oh, man. I'm a, I'm a lucky boy right now, you know? Give me that. I need all the help I can get. Damn. 
don't get baited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bait him down here, you see. Get him to come down to you. There we go. Okay. We're getting further. Never been here before. Ooh. Got some horses to worry about now. I don't know if... I don't think they die. So we just gotta dodge them while these guys try to, uh, apparently hit us with their blow torches. Whatever they're attempting here. Probably work if they didn't try to, you know, fire it off before they got me. That was a tight f squeeze right there. Okay, I was gonna say, what do we got? The same boss we always fight. We came so close, but those tight horse squeezes. Don't even talk to me about whatever phrasing that may imply there. Oh, we got him. <laughs> we got in enough hits. I'm weak. I got few lives, but we're getting further and further all the time. They've sent out the bards. Look at that. Shot him when he came out of his hole and then shot his shuriken out of the sky. That's what we call very impressive maneuvers. Possibly dictated a little bit by luck. We're just gonna, yeah, that, that guy, he's on the other side of the wall. He doesn't mean anything to us right now. Oh, they're not bards. They do have swords. They look like they were like <laughs> walking out with some like woodwind instrument in their mouth. Look at me, just disrespecting the samurai. <laughs> Almost messed that up hugely. I did mess it up hugely, I just didn't get that badly punished for it. And that's it, we're done. I was gonna say, I figured that would be our last life. It had been a while. I mean, we, we went through a lot of deaths is what I'm trying to say here. Good progress, though. Now, do those count as misses? We did technically hit something. Being technically correct is the best kind of correct. Because everybody wants you dead afterwards. It's all ceremonial. That's, you know, if nothing else, the, the whole master system has the very same vibe. It's the whole, you know, it really drives you to perform better and better with each attempt that you make in a game. Which means you're definitely uh, rewarded for mastery. And there's something to say for that, you know? You're not really given any, uh, f free methods to success here in any of these Master System games. There we go, we got him. I was a little, a little concerned. But yeah, you have to genuinely play very well. The end result is you feeling like you've really accomplished something. Despite it feeling like a little bit of an artificial use of your time. What does that even mean? I don't know. Time's an abstract concept that we just created anyway. Whoa, if, if we stopped thinking about time, would we cease to age? Is it all in our heads? Of course not. That's an absurd assumption. Your cells would still cease to replicate. 
at the same rate that they do when we talk about time. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you can go backwards in the level. That is a massive, massive help. Otherwise, you'd have very little room to deal with those straw hats. Now, I played uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, what I want to know is, is, is that just like, I'm not going to say what they did or anything in case there's someone who hasn't played the game who is interested in it. I'm not just going to spoil the whole thing. But are Straw Hats just like that? Or was that just a, uh, just a storytelling element? What are you talking about, you may ask? Hey, go play Ghost of Tsushima. It's a great game. And you'll find out. It's, it's so funny, like, Ghost of Tsushima is so good. It absolutely is. I'm not making any claims here saying, oh, it's not that great. But hear me out here. Everybody acknowledges that it's great. But it's very much another example of uh, the open world formula that everybody is always like, I'm so tired of it. And yet, Ghost of Tsushima comes in, does the same formula, and everyone's like, it's perfect. Granted, it does it very, very well, and that's maybe m more to the point why people say so much good about it. I still don't like this level. You know, I've made it past a couple times, but that doesn't mean that I have uh, made peace with it. Maybe if we go up to this log, we'll be in a better position. Well, no, because we need this. Go down to this very slow log. It's not quite a prologue. That, that log is a bad choice. That log won't get you anywhere fast. Oh, but we got our, we got our boss. He just decided to show his face, so that's very nice. Nothing, nothing I could have done there, you know? I, I was trapped on a log. You really do have to make it past this level, and it, it really is just kind of a crapshoot. You have to make it past a level to progress in the game. Wow. Shocking statement you made. That's another life in our favor here. But I lost too many in that stage to feel good. Get out of here. I am amazed I didn't die right there. That was Panic City for me. Whereas that was the most just like mundane death that you've ever seen. What gives, game? I should be asking myself that. I'm the one who made it happen. He's still there! Get, get out, get get out of here. Okay. Well. Poorly executed. You know, I know what I said about the whole, oh, it gives you a feeling of accomplishment and all that. Ah, oh, I hate that. But boy, it does get old playing level one over and over, which is a common theme in the world of the Sega Master System. There. This could be a little bit better for us. I just... I took a weird approach to it that time, despite having played this level many times now. Something in my head just said, try something different. The other part of my head said, why would I? What I'm doing works great. And it says, I don't know, just try it. Trying something different was not the answer. 
I didn't need an answer because this level has been solved. And now we've taken an unnecessary death. This level, we've solved this one as well. Which is good, because, you know, the first time that I saw this level, I thought, Oh man, how are we supposed to make it past this? And now it's, you know, pretty easy. No big thing. Low scoring run, it took until after the kill to get my uh, my one up there. I almost said level up. <laughs> Not quite the same thing. What else is there to say, really? You know? There isn't much to say. You just you throw stars at the dogs. It's Dog Slaughtering Simulator. Straw Hat Slaughtering Simulator. <laughs> Don't get hit by the sword simulator, because you'll feel like a big dummy. Seriously, getting dunked on by a melee enemy in these kinds of games, that's what makes you feel worse than pretty much anything else. I guess... This isn't quite a shoot 'em up, is it? Is this, is this more of a run and gun? No, run and gun is usually that's that's contra uh, Bucky O'Hare kind of stuff right there. I'm thinking Bucky O'Hare, Jazz Jackrabbit. I think I'm thinking Bucky O'Hare. They're they're similar, you know. They're both uh, rabbit mascot characters with with uh, a little too much tood. There you go. There's another 100%. Thank you, thank you. I know. Praise me and all that I've accomplished here. I was gonna say, he didn't drop my uh, scroll. It's because I've already got a scroll, man. There we go, there we go. We're figuring it out. We're not figuring it out. <laughs> what do you do there? Why does the boss only seem to ever spawn after I die, you know? Why does love always feel like a battlefield? I was in a band once and one of our, like, a guitarists wanted to cover that song so desperately. It just became kind of an ongoing joke. It's like, yeah, what are we gonna do? Like, uh, Love is a Battlefield. We had a couple songs we always talked about covering. The only one we ever did, though, was uh, the King of the Hill theme song at the end of our sets. We were a melodic metalcore band. I know, I know. It was what was popular at the time. It was what they all wanted to do. I was just along for the ride. It was a dire part of my life, you know, where I had to listen to uh, metalcore all the time to stay in the know. But I never have to do it again. I still have friends nowadays who are like, Oh, you're, you're like asking Alexandria's song? And I'm like, nope, because they're garbage. I, that's just, that's subjective, man. I'm like, they are subjectively garbage. If that makes you feel any better. I got into a conversation with my wife about how much I like uh, black metal and how many black metal artists are like total pieces of garbage. And I'm like, and then I started thinking about it and I was like, it's not like that specific to black metal though. 
music in general just has a lot of shitty people that make it. Like, people still play, uh, Cat Scratch Fever on Classic Rock Radio. Ted Nugent, you know, um... <laughs> Smuggled a 14 year old girl across like a state lines so he could be with her or something like that. He's, he's, he's a garbage man as well. Heck, even uh, the people who get a pass for it, like uh, David Bowie, he got involved with uh, teenagers plenty. It's like you just gotta accept that the people who make art that you like are probably bad people. <laughs> it's depressing. But. That's life, I guess. Sounds a little bit uh, defeatist to just accept it, but what else are you gonna do? The only real option is to just not listen to him. I hate that squeeze. That's... That's a nasty little section right there. Good. Got rid of him, if nothing else. Alright. Now the samurai who I mistook for flautists. Just inch forward, man. Inch forward. You don't have a time limit. You don't gotta do this quickly. Got him. That one. I'm just gonna ignore him. Don't, don't even concern yourself. Don't waste your time validating what he's trying to do. Are they gonna come from behind me? Yep. He freed himself. Ooh. Good. Nice. That feels pretty good. We got another extra life, so that's gonna give us a little more room to play with. Oh shoot! I was looking at something else. Oh, okay. That that did pause it. <laughs> Apparently, you can pause your death sequence. We're climbing the wall. It's impressive looking. Really glad that I, you know, squandered that <laughs> one extra life that I got. That I worked so desperately for. I thought I had, like, one more second than I had to, uh, attend to other matters. You try to microtask? Microtask? <laughs> Multitask? What is a microtask? It's a task that really d isn't anything. Ooh, that was real close. I thought I was going to be dead. We're, we're getting there. We're getting closer. Um, Interesting. No! Look at that fall! Do we have... No, that was it. That was all we had. I don't even know if I have time to get back to that point again. 200,000 points is nice and all, but man, I would have loved to have gotten a little further. We'll try, but... Oh, we don't have a lot of time, you know? Either way, you can't say I didn't do my due diligence this episode. Botching that one life on the rock uh, wall was, you know, that was, that was bad, I'll give you that. But I think I've been putting in some real attempts here. Some real effort was put in on my part to understand the game I'm playing.
77% is uh, acceptable, I suppose. Just nuke them the second they come out of the ground. And you hit those diagonals, just like that. It's just like, ah, setting up a bishop checkmate. Ah. Instead, I got, I got mated. Mated in one. The boss man continues to be easy enough, but still, man. Why do I gotta die so often? Because it's an old game and it's designed to kill the player as often as possible? Ah, uh, yes, that reason. How could I forget? Well, that's embarrassing. I died to a dog. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. The rat dogs have found their revenge. Good stuff right there. stuff right there ah see see it's always in the last 10 minutes I just uh, start to kind of fall apart a little bit I'm like eh, I did good now I can retire you don't retire until you're done you still got work to do the sunset is not for you yet Now, destroy those commas that are flying at you. I believe that's what those are called, commas. K-M-A-A. K-M-A-A. K-A-M-A. Good thing I'm not in a spelling bee right now, or I'd be giving a miserable performance. This is an acceptable game, though. It's functional, and sometimes that's that, that's all you can really ask for. I don't think we've really played an unfunctional game on the Master System yet, though. Played some that were a little more dull than others, but they've all been pretty decent quality. There's been no Karate Kids. I did get one comment, somebody saying that they loved the Karate Kid game when they were a kid, and I thought, boy, nostalgia's a hell of a drug. Again, still not the worst game. Super Pitfall. Ah, uh, no, Ikari Warriors 1 is still the worst game. I still get, uh, you know, nightmares about Ikari Warriors 1. I'm gonna get nightmares about this stage, too. This is gonna be... It's gonna hold a place in my Hall of Shame. How do you... How do you do it, man? That was a game over? Jeez, what a terrible run. I was here like, oh, maybe I'll have time to make it back to the wall. I just don't even make it there. Make it halfway. Maybe I made it halfway. I, I don't know. Though. It wasn't impressive. That's my... That's my main point that I'm trying to make here. Yep, you get to your scroll. Which gets you your shuriken, so now you can pierce the sky.
I get your blue one so you're a little quicker, and I still don't know what the green one does. Don't die here. There you go. Thank you. 69%. A perfect hit ratio. Uh, you guys... That's, as Chief Keef would indeed say, that's that shit I don't like. The end boss? It's no big deal. Which I guess these are all probably mid-bosses. There's probably a big juicier boss at the end. Or for all I know, it's literally just another straw hat and that's all you fight in the entire game. So that was that was a bad opening to this level, as you could probably well imagine. Losing the sh losing the shuriken on this level is bad. You really rely on it a lot to take out these uh, swarms of rats. All right, you get the shuriken back. Now the rats don't stand a chance. Check it out. Look at that. They almost got to me, and if they did, well, that would have been uh, comedy genius on their behalf, I suppose. Instead, they can all tell their sweet rat families goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bait the angled shots out of him. There you go. 67%. So far from perfect. So yeah, maybe someday I'll try to figure out how to properly emulate the Sega Sports Pad. And should I be able to do that, then I should be able to, you know, play great ice hockey. I doubt too many people are, like, clamoring for great ice hockey that much. But, for the sake of completion, it would be nice, you know? Who knows, maybe we'll even find out a way to emulate light guns on RetroArch. And do some light gun games. Which, you know, the only way to do that would be to use a mouse, which would take out a lot of the character. Perfect 100%. Oh, sweet. Give me one brief moment here. Oh, he thought he had me. Not today. That's what you tell the god of death. Although, he probably would have missed me anyway. All things considered. Yeah, get out of here, man. Get out. Um, hit ratio be damned, I need to just, you know, avoid dying. Oh, we've avoided it. Incredible. That's, that, okay, that's how it's done. You just, uh, spam them with shurikens. And then the boomerang happens. Then the boomerang happens. Alright, I, I get it. I get it. It's the game's way to teach you about futility. If you can get them from that diagonal, though, it's not too bad. 39%? Look, I don't care. I just, I just wanted to make it through that level without taking a hit. I, I would have, too, if it wasn't for that meddling straw hat. And his stupid boomerang thing. <laughs> Got her.
Well, perfect time to die, because that's time. Not a bad little game, actually, the ninja. You know, it's got a feeling of being a little... on the generic side a little bit. Not a ton of character in it, but it's playable, it's functional, it's decently fun, so hey, that's a passing grade for me. Thank you for joining me, even though we had to switch gears from what we thought would be one game into another. Uh, flexibility is key, you know. Join me next time where we presumably will be playing pro wrestling. Oh gosh, NES had pro wrestling and this is a totally different pro wrestling game. We'll see if it's as daunting and miserable as NES pro wrestling was. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me as always. We'll catch you next time.